Welcome back everybody and uh, today we're going to be doing um, the chassis of our vehicle and this is video number two in our short series of how to modify your vehicle and this can be done be used as part of a garage okay so let's have a look at our vehicle at the moment we have an AI vehicle which we've got from the standard assets going around a waypoint circuit and as you can see it's a 4x4 four four vehicle and it has independent suspension and it's joined to the wheels are joined to the the body by using suspension arms and that's what we're interested in today okay great so let's get started in our vehicle here we have the standard assets car which I have deleted everything that I don't need from it bottom I have something called the chassis and that's what we're going to focus on in this video top of the chassis I have a shell or body and I'm going to turn that off and the chassis is made up of a central beam with some suspension arms from the wheels to the beam okay the four wheels which are the standard sky car wheels we can turn those off so what we're going to do is we're going to be giving the impression that these these suspension arms are connected to the wheel at one end and connected to the chassis at the other if we turn off that this vehicle is driving and hit play we can see that now the suspension arm is pointing at or appears to be connected to the central chassis beam this is something that you would expect on any vehicle okay and that's what we're going to do today and when we start changing the suspension this will move up and down and, and it, it looks it will look realistic okay great how do we do that this this chassis is a very simple chassis and you can design them however you wish depending on what kind of vehicle you're making but for all intents and purposes this is perfect for us we have a central beam which we don't actually need for working but it's great visually okay in terms of like when we're changing the setup so I put one of those in there I've got a, I've got four suspension arms they're all exactly the same and in each suspension arm is made up of two parts I'm going to show you how to make up one part and then you can duplicate it and rotate it to fit onto the other parts of the vehicle onto the other uh, parts of the chassis okay so we have here front left this is made up of two parts part one is an actual arm which we can turn off and then we're gonna have a look at this one here which is like the end of the arm or maybe like the wheel hub or where the wheel bearings are or however you wish to do it you can change the mesh up here to put some custom custom mesh in there maybe disc brakes and things like that but for this demo I'm just using a regular sphere what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this sphere do two things first of all we want it we're going to make it stay in the center of our wheel wherever the wheel is whether the wheels up or down or wherever it is that sphere is always going to be in the middle of the wheel that's the first thing we're going to do and then secondly we're going to make that wheel look at this yellow box here which is called the front suspension target to so give the impression that they're connected that the wheel is connected to the chassis the suspension is connected to the chassis which is what it is it should be okay right let's turn off our let's turn off our wheels and here we go so quite simply what we've done is we've attached two we've, first of all we've positioned our sphere in the correct place what's the correct place well this is this is sky car wheel front left and it sits at this position here 0 9 0 4 um, 1.35 so here here you need to put this in the same position and it is 9435 okay right next thing we need to do is we need to attach two scripts the first script is the suspension script that comes from the car 
from the standard assets so if you go vehicles cars scripts down there you'll see a script called suspension and this holds will hold that hold that sphere in this wherever we in the same place to the object which we're going to make it follow okay let's say that again by attaching this suspension script to this sphere we'll give it a target which is going to be the wheel so it will this suspension will be wherever the wheel is okay the next script that I've attached is going to make this sphere look at this yellow cube to give the impression that the the beam is joined to the yellow cube at one end and to the sphere at the other so we we'll turn this on here this sphere is going to rotate and look so it's going to do two things first of all, it's going to stay in the middle of the wheel that it's going to be looking at or following and secondly it's going to be looking at this sphere so here I'm not going to open when I develop because there's it's quite a simple script I've called it camera other other just ignore that you can call it whatever you want public transform target late update transform look at target so look at whatever's in this target what's the target well here we've dropped in the front suspension target we want this to look at this yellow cube great so all going well if we press play as you can see this sphere has rotated to look to the yellow to look at the yellow cube our target and because this swing arm this this suspense sorry this suspension arm is connected to this sphere is a child of the sphere it's also pointing at the target so it gives the impression that the wheels are connected to the chassis via the suspension arm which is correct great thanks very much I hope you learned something there and look forward to seeing you again in the next video please subscribe thank you bye bye